Hello everyone. As part of the Amazon Bedrock Agent Core video series, we are going to cover the Agent Core runtime as part of this video. First, you create your agents locally, connect to the tools and pass those responses to the Bedrock and you get the final output. So in this example, we are using AWS Trans, which is an open source SDK from AWS for the agent orchestration. It connects to a couple of tools, the get weather and the calculator. So based on the user prompt, Trans would help with the orchestration of calling those tools with the help of Bedrock LLM and the final output is sent back to the user. Once you build the agent locally, Amazon Bedrock Agent Core helps you package everything. The model, the framework, those are being used to build the agent and the agent core runtime tool decorator, which then effectively when you run a command, that's going to create a Docker container in the background. Then the Docker container will be hosted in the Amazon ECR and creates an agent core runtime. So once that's up and running, you have an endpoint that you can invoke. And as a an user, you can invoke that endpoint via any other application. So again, it's going to be a framework or model agnostic. So whether you're using, for example, AWS Trans or any other third party framework, that should be fine. And whatever model you want to use is also fine whether that's hosted in Bedrock or outside. So you can just call that endpoint and make use of it. With that, let's go into the code walkthrough on the demo. First, we are creating the agents locally using AWS Trans framework. We are importing this Trans library as well as the calculator tool, which is already pre-built. Here we are defining the weather tool using the Bedrock Plot Sonnet 4 model. This is where we are orchestrating the agent calling the weather tool that we have defined above on the existing pre-built calculator tool. Then we are testing the agents locally by passing in the prompt. What is the weather now? We got the response saying the weather is currently sunny. Then we will prepare the agent for the deployment on agent code runtime. We are importing the Bedrock Agent Core runtime, instantiating the Bedrock Agent Core app, which actually creates an HTTP server that listens to the port 8080. Uh, it also handles um, uh, proper response formats and uh, manages error handling. This is the actual agent which we have tested locally. Then the entry point decorator, which marks this function as the main entry point for Agent Core runtime. Finally, the app.run, which starts the Agent Core runtime. Then we'll move on to deploying the agent. So step one, we define the agent name and create the necessary IAM rules and permissions. Step two, we are calling the configure method from the agent core runtime by passing the necessary parameters, the entry point, which we defined as a tool decorator above, the role, all the libraries that are required to be installed in the Docker image, the region, and finally the agent name. So this step will actually create the necessary Docker file. So if you see this, this is a Docker file which got created. Step three, finally we call the launch method from the agent core runtime. The launch method will create the Amazon ECR repository and the agent core runtime. We are checking the status of the runtime and then the status is ready. If you go and check the agent runtime in Amazon Bedrock Agent Code Service, you should be able to see the runtime that is running. Using the invoke method from the agent code runtime, you can invoke the agent by passing in the parameter. So you get the same response. Finally, you can integrate with your application using the Boto3 API and the Agent Core ARN. We are just passing in the prompt and we got the result. So that's the end of the code walkthrough for the Agent Core runtime. Thanks.